The Legend of Customato. Hey, champions! Welcome back to the Neville Goddard Son of Abdullah channel, where we unlock the secrets of the universe and the power of your mind. Today, we're diving into the incredible story of Customato, the legendary boxing trainer who used the law of assumption and imagination to create an amazing life and career for himself and his boxing champions, including the one and only Mike Tyson. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. And remember, if you love our content, hit that like button, subscribe, share, and sign up for our free newsletter. Let's positively impact the lives of over 11 million people by the end of 2024. The Early Days of Customato Let's start from the beginning. Born in 1908 in the Bronx, New York, Constantine Cus D'Amato was no stranger to struggle. Growing up in a tough neighborhood, Cus learned early on that life wasn't easy. But he also learned something much more important, the power of belief and imagination. From a young age, Cus was fascinated by boxing. He wasn't just interested in the physical aspects, he was intrigued by the mental game. He believed that the mind was the ultimate weapon, and he started experimenting with visualization techniques long before they became mainstream. Cus often spoke about seeing himself as a great boxing trainer, even when he had no fighters to train. He would imagine every detail, the sound of the crowd, the feeling of victory, and the success of his fighters. This was his introduction to the law of assumption, which states that what you assume to be true becomes your reality. The philosophy of the law of assumption. Now, for those of you who might be new to the concept, the law of assumption is a principle popularized by Neville Goddard. It asserts that you can create your reality by assuming the feeling of your wish fulfilled. In simpler terms, if you believe something strongly enough and act as if it's already true, the universe will align to make it happen. Customato was a master of this technique. He didn't just train boxers, he trained their minds. He would tell his fighters to visualize their victories, to see themselves as champions long before they stepped into the ring. This mental conditioning was a game-changer and set the stage for some of the most legendary careers in boxing history. Meeting Mike Tyson Fast forward to the 1980s. Cus D'Amato was nearing the end of his career when he met a young, troubled kid named Mike Tyson. Tyson, who had been in and out of juvenile detention, had a lot of raw talent but lacked direction. Cus saw something special in Tyson, something that others had overlooked. Cus took Mike under his wing, not just as a trainer, but as a mentor and father figure. He introduced Mike to the law of assumption and the power of imagination. Cus would often say, the hero and the coward both feel the same fear. Only the hero acts. This became Tyson's mantra, helping him transform his fear into unstoppable confidence. Training the mind Cus's techniques. Cus D'Amato's training methods were unorthodox but highly effective. He believed that the mind was the most important muscle a boxer could train. Here are some of his key techniques. Visualization. Cus would have Tyson visualize his fights in detail. He would see himself dodging punches, landing powerful blows, and ultimately winning the match. This mental rehearsal was crucial for building confidence and muscle memory. Affirmations. Cus encouraged positive self-talk. Tyson would repeatedly tell himself that he was the best, the strongest, and the fastest. This constant reinforcement helped embed these beliefs into his subconscious. Fear management. Cus taught Tyson to embrace fear rather than run from it. He believed that acknowledging and facing fear head-on was the key to conquering it. Daily rituals. Cus instilled discipline through daily rituals. From early morning runs to rigorous training sessions, these routines built a strong foundation for Tyson's physical and mental conditioning. The Rise of Iron Mike With Cus D'Amato's guidance, Mike Tyson's career skyrocketed. He became the youngest heavyweight champion in history at just 20 years old. But it wasn't just his physical prowess that set him apart, it was his mental fortitude. Tyson often speaks about how Cus's teachings shaped his career. He recalls how Cus would talk about the law of attraction and the power of belief. Tyson has said, Cus would tell me to visualize myself as a warrior, to see myself winning. He made me believe that I was unstoppable. This unwavering belief, instilled by Cus, was a major factor in Tyson's dominance in the ring. He wasn't just fighting his opponents, he was fighting and overcoming his own doubts and fears. Cus's legacy and influence on other fighters. Cus D'Amato's influence didn't stop with Mike Tyson. He trained several other champions, including Floyd Patterson and Jose Torres. Each of these fighters benefited from Cus's unique approach to mental training. Floyd Patterson, who became the first Olympic gold medalist to win a professional heavyweight title, often credited Cus for his success. Patterson said, 
Cus taught me that boxing is 80% mental and 20% physical. He made me believe in myself when no one else did. Jose Torres, another world champion, echoed similar sentiments. He recalled how Cus would have him meditate and visualize his victories. Torres said, Cus's methods were ahead of their time. He understood the power of the mind and how to harness it for success. The power of imagination Cus's daily practices. Cus D'Amato's daily practices were designed to build not just the body, but the mind. He believed in the power of imagination and would incorporate it into every aspect of training. Here are some of his key practices. Mental rehearsal. Cus would have his fighters mentally rehearse their fights multiple times a day. They would imagine every detail, from entering the ring to the final knockout punch. Affirmative journaling. Cus encouraged his fighters to keep journals where they wrote positive affirmations about themselves and their goals. This practice helped reinforce their belief in their abilities. Guided meditation. Cus used guided meditation sessions to help his fighters relax and focus. These sessions were a way to clear the mind and reinforce positive imagery. Role-playing scenarios. Cus would create role-playing scenarios where his fighters would visualize overcoming obstacles both inside and outside the ring. This practice helped build resilience and problem-solving skills. Mindfulness techniques. Cus incorporated mindfulness techniques to help his fighters stay present and focused. This practice was crucial for maintaining composure under pressure. The science behind visualization. Now, let's dive into the science behind visualization. Studies have shown that visualization can significantly improve performance in athletes. When you visualize a task, your brain activates the same neural pathways as when you perform the task physically. A study conducted by Dr. Guang Yu, a psychologist at Cleveland Clinic, found that participants who engaged in mental training increased their muscle strength by 13.5%, even though they did not physically exercise. This phenomenon is known as neural priming, where the brain prepares the body for action. Another study published in the Journal of Sports Psychology revealed that athletes who practiced visualization performed better than those who did not. Visualization helps build confidence, reduces anxiety, and enhances focus, all critical components for success in sports and life. Cus D'Amato understood these principles intuitively and used them to give his fighters a mental edge over their opponents. By combining physical training with mental conditioning, Cus created a holistic approach that revolutionized boxing. Mike Tyson on Cus D'Amato's influence. Mike Tyson has often spoken about the profound impact Cus D'Amato had on his life and career. In interviews and his autobiography, Tyson credits Cus with transforming him from a troubled youth into a world champion. Tyson has said, Cus was more than a trainer, he was a master of the mind. He taught me to visualize success and believe in myself. He made me feel like a god in the ring. Tyson's belief in the law of assumption is evident in his recounting of Cus's teachings. He recalls how Cus would say, if you believe it, you can achieve it. This simple yet powerful mantra became a guiding principle for Tyson throughout his career. Tyson also talks about the emotional bond he shared with Cus. He describes Cus as a father figure who instilled discipline, confidence, and a relentless work ethic. This deep connection and trust allowed Tyson to fully embrace Cus's teachings and apply them in his life. The power of belief in overcoming adversity. One of the most remarkable aspects of Cus D'Amato's philosophy is the power of belief in overcoming adversity. Cus taught his fighters to see obstacles not as insurmountable barriers, but as opportunities for growth and triumph. This mindset was especially important for Mike Tyson, who faced numerous challenges both in and out of the ring. From legal issues to personal struggles, Tyson's journey was fraught with difficulties. However, Cus instilled in him the belief that he could overcome any challenge through the power of his mind. Cus's influence on modern coaching. Cus D'Amato's innovative approach to mental training has had a lasting impact on modern coaching. Today, many coaches in various sports incorporate visualization and mental conditioning techniques similar to those pioneered by Cus. For instance, in the world of basketball, legendary coach Phil Jackson used meditation and visualization practices to help his players, including Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant, achieve peak performance. In football, Coaches like Pete Carroll have adopted mindfulness and visualization techniques to improve focus and resilience in their players. Cus's legacy lives on in these modern practices, proving that the mind is a powerful tool in achieving greatness. His teachings remind us that success is not just about physical abilities but also about mental strength and belief in oneself. How you can apply Cus's techniques in your life. Now that we've explored Cus D'Amato's incredible influence, let's talk about how you can apply his techniques in your own life.
Whether you're an athlete, a student, or an entrepreneur, these principles can help you achieve your goals and manifest your dreams. Visualization. Take time each day to visualize your goals in detail. Imagine yourself achieving them and feel the emotions associated with that success. The more vivid and real your visualization, the more powerful it will be. Affirmations. Use positive affirmations to reinforce your belief in yourself. Write them down, say them out loud, and repeat them often. For example, I am confident, capable, and successful. Daily rituals. Establish daily routines that support your goals. Consistency and discipline are key to building momentum and achieving success. Mindfulness. Practice mindfulness to stay present and focused. This will help you manage stress and maintain a clear mind, especially when facing challenges. Embrace fear. Instead of avoiding fear, confront it head on. Use it as a motivator to push yourself beyond your limits and achieve greatness. Real life success stories inspired by Cuss's teachings. To illustrate the power of these techniques, let's look at some real life success stories inspired by Cuss's teachings. Story 1. Serena Williams. Serena Williams, one of the greatest tennis players of all time, uses visualization to prepare for her matches. She imagines herself hitting perfect shots, winning points, and lifting trophies. This mental rehearsal has been a key factor in her success on the court. Story 2. Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey, a media mogul and philanthropist, has spoken about the power of visualization and belief in achieving her goals. She visualized her success long before she became a household name, and her unwavering belief in herself has led to a remarkable career. Story 3. Jim Carrey. Actor Jim Carrey famously wrote himself a $10 million check for acting services rendered, and visualized himself receiving it. Years later, he achieved his dream and received a $10 million paycheck for his role in the movie, Dumb and Dumber. These stories show that the principles taught by Customato can be applied in various fields to achieve extraordinary success. The Role of Emotions in Manifestation One of the key elements in Customato's teachings is the role of emotions in manifestation. Emotions are the fuel that powers your visualizations and affirmations. When you feel the emotions associated with your desired outcome, you align your energy with that reality. Neville Goddard often emphasized the importance of feeling in the law of assumption. He said, assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled and act upon it with conviction. Cus D'Amato understood this principle and used it to help his fighters tap into their inner strength. To harness the power of emotions, focus on the positive feelings you want to experience. Whether it's joy, gratitude, or confidence, immerse yourself in these emotions during your visualizations and affirmations. This emotional alignment will accelerate the manifestation of your desires. Overcoming Limiting Beliefs A crucial aspect of manifesting your dreams is overcoming limiting beliefs. These are the negative thoughts and doubts that hold you back from achieving your full potential. Cus D'Amato taught his fighters to challenge and replace these limiting beliefs with empowering ones. For example, if you believe that you're not good enough or that success is out of reach, these beliefs will sabotage your efforts. Instead, adopt the mindset that you are capable and deserving of success. Replace negative self-talk with positive affirmations and focus on your strengths. Cuss would often say, it's the repetition of affirmations that leads to belief. And once that belief becomes a deep conviction, things begin to happen. This practice of replacing limiting beliefs with empowering ones is a cornerstone of the law of assumption. The power of persistence. Another important lesson from Customato's life is the power of persistence. Success doesn't always comes overnight, and the journey is often filled with setbacks and challenges. Cus taught his fighters to stay committed to their goals, no matter how tough things got. Mike Tyson is a prime example of this persistence. Despite facing numerous obstacles, he remained dedicated to his training and mental conditioning. Tyson's relentless work ethic and belief in himself, instilled by Cus, were key factors in his rise to the top. In your own life, embrace the power of persistence. Stay focused on your goals, keep pushing forward, and never give up. Remember, every setback is an opportunity to learn and grow. With persistence and the right mindset, you can overcome any challenge and achieve your dreams. The Legacy of Cus D'Amato Cus D'Amato's legacy extends far beyond the boxing ring. His teachings on the law of assumption and the power of imagination have inspired countless individuals to achieve greatness. Cus's influence continues to resonate in the world of sports, business, and personal development. Today, many coaches, trainers, and motivational speakers draw upon Cus's principles to help others unlock their potential. 
His belief in the power of the mind and the importance of mental conditioning has become a guiding light for those seeking to achieve their dreams. Cus D'Amato's story reminds us that with the right mindset, anything is possible. By harnessing the power of belief, visualization, and persistence, we can shape our reality and create the life we desire. Applying Cus's teachings to your own life. Now, it's time to apply Cus D'Amato's teachings to your own life. Here are some practical steps to get started. Set clear goals. Define what you want to achieve. Be specific and write down your goals. Visualize daily. Spend time each day visualizing your goals as if they are already achieved. Use all your senses to make the visualization vivid. Use positive affirmations. Create affirmations that reinforce your belief in yourself and your goals. Repeat them daily with conviction. Establish daily rituals. Develop routines that support your goals. Consistency is key to building momentum. Embrace challenges. See obstacles as opportunities for growth. Stay persistent and keep pushing forward. Cultivate positive emotions. Focus on the positive feelings associated with your desired outcome. Let these emotions fuel your visualizations and affirmations. Overcome limiting beliefs. Challenge and replace negative thoughts with empowering beliefs. Believe in your ability to succeed. By following these steps, you can harness the power of the law of assumption and create an amazing life for yourself. We've explored the incredible story of Cus D'Amato and how he used the law of assumption to shape the careers of legendary fighters like Mike Tyson. We've also discussed how you can apply these powerful principles to your own life. Remember, the key to success lies in your mindset and how you utilize your imagination with the law of assumption. Believe in yourself, visualize your goals, and stay persistent. With the right mindset and dedication, you can achieve anything you set your mind to. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and sign up for our free newsletter. Let's reach our goal of positively impacting the lives of over 11 million people by the end of 2024. Together, we can make a difference. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Keep dreaming, keep believing, and keep achieving.